This is the Airbus A320neo, an evolved version of Airbus's pioneering A320. The A320 family already had a reputation for innovation, being the first civil aircraft to incorporate a fully digital fly-by-wire control system, and the A320neo was introduced as part of Airbus's broader strategy to offer more fuel-efficient, eco-friendly, and cost-effective options in the single-aisle aircraft market. The program was officially launched on December 1, 2010, in response to the market's increasing demands for fuel efficiency and lower operating costs, and was also partly to counter the competition from Boeing's 737 MAX series and emerging competitors like the C-Series. But the A320neo series hasn't been entirely without challenges. The engines faced a series of teething issues, including reliability problems that led to some groundings in the early days of its service. However, these issues have largely been addressed through engineering fixes and software updates. Development proceeded relatively smoothly, with the first flight of an A320neo taking place on September 25, 2015, and certification followed suit, with the ESA and the FAA granting their approvals in November 2015 and August 2016, respectively. Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Airbus A320neo. Stepping inside, the cabin width is 12.1 feet or 3.7 meters, and the cabin height is 7.4 feet or 2.25 meters, a figure consistent across the Airbus A320 family. These dimensions offer enough space to move around comfortably, especially when compared to competing aircraft in the narrow body category. The typical two-class layout accommodates about 165 passengers, although in an all-economy configuration, the aircraft can seat up to 194 passengers. The standard seat arrangement is 3-3 in economy and 2-2 in business class. While the layout doesn't offer the wide-body experience, it's fairly spacious for a single-aisle jetliner. Seat width is approximately 18 inches or 45 centimeters in economy class, which is adequate but not overly generous. The seat pitch ranges from 28 to 34 inches or 71 to 86 centimeters. A pitch of 32 inches or 81 centimeters is more common, offering a decent amount of leg room for most passengers. The ergonomics of the seat design have received commendable upgrades. Some airlines offer seat padding with advanced materials that conform to the shape of the body, providing an extra layer of comfort on long-haul flights. The A320neo features larger, pivoting overhead bins that offer approximately 10% more storage space than those on the older A320 models. The overhead compartments can easily accommodate standard carry-on luggage, optimizing cabin space, and making the boarding process smoother. Many models come equipped with high-definition touchscreen monitors, with some even offering tablet holders for a bring-your-own-device experience. The connectivity options usually include USB charging ports and Wi-Fi, although this can vary depending on the airline. The A320neo boasts an LED ambient lighting system, customizable to create a range of moods, this feature is especially beneficial for long-haul flights where it can simulate the natural course of the day, aiding in passenger comfort and combating jet lag. The new engine option not only provides fuel efficiency, but also reduces noise and vibration levels inside the cabin. The noise reduction can reach up to 20 decibels below stage 4 noise regulations, making the cabin remarkably quiet and providing a more serene travel experience. The A320neo uses an advanced environmental control system that offers better air quality and improved humidity levels compared to older models. The cabin is pressurized to a typical altitude of about 6,500 feet or 2,000 meters, which is a standard among modern commercial jetliners, but still offers a comfortable environment for the passengers. Lastly, the lavatories are designed with efficiency in mind, but they do feel a bit on the smaller side. However, they make good use of the limited space with well-placed amenities. Some configurations even offer accessible lavatories for passengers with reduced mobility. Now, let's step into the cockpit. The side stick control, a signature feature, offers fly-by-wire technology, making a departure from the conventional yoke. The panoramic windscreen spans approximately 11.15 feet or 3.4 meters horizontally and 4.4 feet or 1.34 meters vertically, 
affording pilots a broad field of vision. Moving on to the electronic flight instrument system, it comprises six large interactive displays, each around 15 inches. These screens are highly customizable, allowing pilots the flexibility to configure them to individual needs and preferences. The multifunction display is especially versatile, capable of displaying a plethora of information from navigation and engine data to system status and checklists. When it comes to the avionics suite, the A320neo typically comes equipped with either Thales Avionics or Rockwell Collins systems, which include an array of advanced features. The flight management system is exceptionally user-friendly, allowing for data input via a keyboard and cursor control unit. This system is seamlessly integrated with the aircraft's other subsystems, facilitating efficient flight planning and real-time adjustments. The navigation systems featuring high-precision GPS, VORDME, and instrument landing systems offer multiple layers of redundancy. The autopilot system is highly advanced, capable of managing everything from simple altitude and speed settings to complex navigation routes and landing procedures. The integrated weather radar is effective in providing real-time weather data, crucial for avoiding weather-related disruptions. Additionally, the Traffic Collision Avoidance System is an indispensable safety feature, offering real-time traffic monitoring and collision avoidance measures. The acclaimed fly-by-wire system offers envelope protection, making flights safe and efficient by preventing extreme maneuvers and offering stability augmentation. Communication is comprehensive, featuring high-frequency and very high-frequency radios, satellite communications, and data link capabilities. The human-machine interface in the cockpit integrates advanced ergonomics, with all essential controls and systems conveniently placed within easy reach of both pilots. Input methods are varied, including touchpad controls and rotary push-button knobs, catering to individual pilot preferences. In some of the newer A320neo aircraft, voice command features are even being integrated. Pilot comfort is not overlooked. The seats are highly adjustable and include lumbar support, an essential feature for long-haul flights. Climate control and noise-canceling technology create a comfortable and quiet work environment, adding to the cockpit's overall appeal. The A320neo also incorporates multiple redundancies across its avionic systems. These fail-safes ensure that one system's failure does not compromise the overall safety of the flight. Many emergency procedures are automated to a large extent, granting pilots more time to focus on critical decision-making in unforeseen situations. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Airbus A320neo primarily employs one of two engines, the CFM International Leap 1A or the Pratt & Whitney PW1100GJM. Both engines are geared turbofans designed for greater fuel efficiency and reduced noise levels, each producing 27,100 pounds force. The Leap 1A engine offers a fan diameter of 78 inches or 198 centimeters and a bypass ratio of approximately 11 to 1 making it a paragon of fuel efficiency. The PW1100GJM, on the other hand, features a larger fan diameter of 81 inches or 205 centimeters and a bypass ratio nearing 12 to 1, edging out even the Leap 1A in these respects. The aircraft requires 6,500 feet or 2,000 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day with a maximum takeoff weight of 174,200 pounds or 79,000 kilograms and a maximum payload capacity of 44,100 pounds or 20,000 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 3,000 feet or 915 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 39,800 feet or 12,130 meters. The plane has a maximum speed of Mach 0.82, a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0.78, a maximum range of 3,500 nautical miles, which is 4,000 miles or 6,500 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 4,750 feet or 1,450 meters. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Airbus A320neo is $110 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.